hello to the few that actually watch this. Um, it's been a while. I have had little motivation to do anything, really. But then we are in a pandemic, so. Um, but I'm back. Did you miss me? I'm gonna make a little video today of Wareham Forest. So me and Nadine are gonna go for a nice long walk. Um, around Wareham Forest, which is in Dorset. So it's quite a big expanse of forest, which is broken up by roads, but you can like link up lots of the car parks and you know, walkways and pathways, whatever. I don't know what I'm saying. Um, but that's our plan today. I'm just waiting for Nadine. Um, it is partly cloudy with a minimal chance of rain. So I hope it doesn't rain on us because I don't have a coat. Um, we're going to have a picnic. We're going to have to do that now. It's going to be grand. Grand, I tell you all. So me and Adina Park, bleh, can't speak, parked in the Seeker Trail car park. Um, and we're going to walk from here. And you can like walk, say, across the forest to Lawson Clump. And you can like walk around there. And then we're going to link it all. Um, we'll be out walking for a couple of hours. I am a little bit sore from yesterday from work, so I don't want to be like ages, but I don't want to be like out for an hour either, because what's the point? Yeah, I worked yesterday, we had to edge, weed, hoe and sweep the entire driveway, and there's a reason I don't do gardening, because I didn't like it, but my hands and my feet, actually everything hurts. My shoulders hurt because the edge I was using was really heavy, it was really good, but it's really heavy. My hands are sore from doing sweeping and like all day and my feet hurt because when you're like hoeing and sweeping like you have the same pressure on the same bits of your feet so this walk might be interesting because i always get blisters in my walking boots anyway wish me luck um i hope they don't play up these are my walking boots a bit muddy haven't washed them in a while for grisport um, I need, I've had them for a while and I used to wear them all day at work for eight hours, feet are fine, go on a long walk that includes some uphills and downhills and I get blisters, so I'm trying to slowly wear them in because hopefully at the end of May, me and Adina are still going to Wales because you're allowed to go out your door, out of your local area by then and stay in self-contained accommodation, so we're staying in a really cute little shepherd's hut, it's so romantic, um, but yeah, we want to walk like the Brecon Horseshoe or Penny Fat, I can't remember what it's called. But I need those boots to be comfy because that's like a, a hot, like a all day walk. Um, so, yes. Mm. These bars are the best, do you know? And I discovered these like a few months ago. <laughs> I've never had a boost bar before. Mm. Where is Nadine? The car park's quite busy. But I came the other day and the car park was really busy and you don't actually see that many people on the walk because there's so many different ways you can go. So hopefully we won't have to keep on dodging and bumping into lots of people. Mm. Oh, a lot of people on their bikes today. I literally, I think I would die if I did. Off-road mountain biking, whatever you call it. <laughs> I actually can't remember the last time I rode a bike. So yes, I would die. <laughs> Is that Nadine? No. Where's my friend? I also slept in my ear funny and it really hurts. How can you sleep in your ear funny? My ear's not even that big. Oh, it's painful. I should probably stop touching it. Ah. Oh. Ugh, well, oh, 
Got that double chin. Boing. Here she is! Here's Nadine! My music blaring! There's my friend! This is my friend! Show me our life! Hello, friend! Hello! <laughs> you walking in those shoes? No, my boots are in the boot. Ooh! Look at her pretty little face! <laughs> So this is a little snippet of Wem Forest. This is Nadine. <laughs> so I'm thinking, Nadine, we get to that path over there. We walk this path this way, this way, and then let's see where we end up. <laughs> okay. Try not to get lost. I've never got lost in Wem Forest before. It's quite open, isn't it? Yes. So. I've got my Strava on, so I know where I started. But, um, yeah, I've never got lost in Wem Forest before. It's the first time for everything. We like the woods, don't we, Nadine? Oh, he's tripped over a stump. I wish he looked so cute. <laughs> this is Gary. One. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna try not to get lost, aren't we? Trying. Trying. Emphasis on that word. Yeah. If we get lost, we'll sit down, cry about it, have our food, retrace our steps. <laughs> yeah, just go back the way we came. <laughs> yeah. I'll leave a trail of breadcrumbs, like Hansel and Gretel. No, there's lots of wood there's lot there's lots of woods in these birds. There's lots of birds in these woods. <laughs> uh. <laughs> it's so peaceful in the woods. <laughs> Listen to the birds. Friend. <laughs> Nadine! Ella! What are you looking forward to come 29th of March? Death. Okay, <laughs> dark. Um, <laughs> being able to sit in people's gardens yes. with more than one person. Yes! Perhaps ever, you know. Hopefully the weather will be a bit nicer, so bask in the sun. I mean, I have bought four lovely dresses from ASOS. Actually five, actually, which I've never worn. So I want to wear all of them. Outfit change every hour. Yes. <laughs> Get my money's worth. <laughs> oh, have you bought any, um, kind of, not pointless things, but things you've bought in lockdown, you're like, well, I won't be wearing that for a while. <laughs> um, I bought a towel poncho. Oh, what, for swimming? For, like, when we go to the beach and stuff, so I can get changed yes. without flashing me fanny. <laughs> um... Nothing pointless really. I bought some like more nail varnishes because I've just, you know, taken up doing nail my art. nails during 
locked down. So I've got like the dotters and some brushes and loads of different colours. I do mine when mine have grown back because I've chewed them off in anxiety. Okay. <laughs> I don't know why. Um, I've done, I did a clothes order just for, you know, out of boredom. Mm -hmm. That, I, think that's right. I don't think I've bought anything that massively unnecessary. What I don't need. I bought two pairs of boots, one was £130, one was £60. <laughs> and we're going to spring. <laughs> um, I would say they're unnecessary, but they're really nice. Oh, and I, need okay. them. I do keep buying jumpers from Goose and Gander. Oh, yes. Um, this walk is sponsored by Goose and Gander. <laughs> but, um,. Yes, every time, like, obviously I ordered one. I got a couple of things for Christmas, and then I was like, oh, I'll order myself another one, because I want another one. And I got, so I got this one that I'm wearing now, and like a polo. And then <clears throat> they did these like mystery boxes where it was a bit cheaper, and they, they just sent you some jumpers that you thought you didn't know which ones they were. I was like, oh, I had to buy one of them. Then it's I've been trying to buy one of them, and every time I get a buy one, they're already like, they're always out of stock. <laughs> Not quick enough. But then it's my sister's birthday next week, and she wanted some stuff from Goose and Gander. So I got two. I've got two things for her, and then they were like, it wasn't enough for free postage. So I was like, oh damn. Well, do you know what that means? I have to buy jumper. myself a new jumper. God. So I ordered myself a new jumper. Oh, we'll buy a road. Interesting. I don't know where we are. <laughs> what time is it? I've got a watch. Um, half eleven. I'm hungry. <laughs> Already? Already. Jeez. Bramble ate my toast. Little cat. Really? Little, little cat. Oh, a brunch bra. A brunch bra? A brunch bra, hey. A brunch bar. Is anyone hungry? <laughs> Have a tit. <laughs> Have a tit. <laughs> I wore a bra for the first time since Christmas Eve. Do you know Tuesday. what, Adine? I will made a mistake of wearing jeans and a belt the same day I decided to also wear a bra. Never been so uncomfortable in my life. Honestly. I've got what have I got on now? I've got a bra that on. It's so comfy. And gym leggings. So when you sit down, they kind of just, you know, the elastic spans with you. Yeah. When you have an underwire bra on, which is restrictive, paired with restrictive jeans, oh, so many indentations. So uncomfortable. I would quite happily never wear an underwire bra or jeans again. Well, yeah. Well, I yeah, I wore a bra on Tuesday for like two hours, and as soon as I got home, I took it off. Nope. So I don't think it really counts. But it was just because my top that I was wearing was too see-through to wear without a bra. Uh -huh. I could probably get away without wearing a bra because it either gives me enough support, but you can see me nip things. Yeah. So I put a Free bra on. Anyway. I wish I could not wear a bra, but um, I don't think it's socially acceptable for me not to wear a bra. <laughs> well, I just wear those like the tight cropped tops from Primark. Mm -hmm. They're quite tight so they kind of just hold them um, in place enough. Just pick them up and tuck them in. Pick them up, tuck them in. Just get some, I just get some high waisted trousers. Tuck them in. <laughs> I'm now flat chested. <laughs> I'm now flat chested. <laughs> Try and find the 
house as we passed it. Twist an ankle, off you go, Nadine. <laughs> We're going on a proper adventure. If you go down to the woods today, you might trip over a twig. If you go down to the woods today, I don't know you any more words. Well, it looks like some people have tried to get down here because there's a man-made bridgey thing but there's a path there there's a man i see a man oh i think you'd fall oh i hope karma doesn't make me fall oh my goodness Nadine, where are you? <laughs> Found you! <laughs> okay, maybe this is the path. It just, it just got a little bit off road. Cool. God, I'm a terrible filmer. My camera's this. Oh man. Love Wareham Forest. Okay, I'm not sure which part of the forest we're in because I've never been here before, but we just found some beehives. Hey, George. Which is adorable. Nadine's I sending it to someone. I found you something incredible. So, <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen bees in Wareham before, and they're actually they're all active. Look, I'm gonna get too close. I'm gonna get stung. Can well, you hear? Don't annoy them. They won't. The bees are they what? Oh no, they're bees. Oh, I can hear the hives buzzing with life. Oh, I bet the honey smell, um, tastes really nice. It'd be like gorsy. And then over here, there's a random patch of daffodils which I've never seen in the forest before either. How cool is this and how pretty. Oh, they're little ones too. They're adorable. Oh, I'm in the and there's a ruin over there. Where are we? Where the petals are paler than the yeah, I love it. I'm, I'm just gonna, gonna like an angel. listen to the bird song. It's so peaceful. The Dean, you're ruining it. Look at the Dean, looking all candid and cute in the daffodils. We're not killing any, by the way. We are. There's little That's patches good. where they're not growing. I've never seen daffodils in the forest before and I'm very happy. It's so cute. No. Never been here either. It's a little bit muddy. As Nadine just found out. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> oh, good job there, waterproof. Oh, we're trying to find a suitable place to stop for our lunch now. We seem to have lost all benches and a suitable place to sit down. <laughs> hmm. Go on then, Nadine. If you can get there without tripping. <laughs> ah, stunk. <laughs> Puckle. <laughs> not as deep as I thought it was going to be, but that was funny. <laughs> it's 
closer. I can see that. <laughs> we finished our walk. It was only, what was it, seven miles? Let's round up, 6.7. It's not very long. Yeah. But Could, if you say 10k, it sounds longer. Yeah, I really don't know. Couldn't have had a bench, so we're, we're sitting on a tree. Um, shoes are still not broken in. My feet hurt. <laughs> um, I don't know what to do. I'm at my wits end. I've got weird shaped feet. Mine are okay. Well, that's okay then, isn't it? Mmm. <laughs> Okay, we just finished our lunch on our bench. Well, not bench. Our tree, <laughs> our tree stump, and it's just started to rain on us. So we're gonna head back to the cars and go our separate ways, finally. <laughs> um, that was a nice little walk, wasn't it, Nadim? Yeah. Oh, my feet hurt. Oh, my feet, my heels hurt. Oh, I just don't understand my feet in these boots. I don't know what to do anymore. Yeah. Beautiful. Um, so yes. That was a nice little morning walk, wasn't it? It wasn't that long. Oh my god, my feet. Ah! Straight. <laughs> Where are you? Here. <laughs> So yes, we're gonna hop back to the car and then we're gonna drive home. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. Okay, cool, bye. Okay, cool, bye. <laughs> I love you, bye. <laughs> bye, bye. <laughs>